so the very first one is working with like when you have a and b let's take some two variables out there sum of the numbers Okay, so you have A and B like this, right? Now, the very first function what we did yesterday, the very first one, the add function, and we understood what how add works, right? Like we can easily write something dot add for one uh, element if we want to add up, we can use the add function, and if we want to add multiple elements, what we are going to do there is update, right? So I hope that is clear to you. Okay. Still, so, I'm adding something here, right? So I can write a dot add five. So, okay. So doing this. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Likewise, you can add even multiple elements with the update. I'm not doing right now. We'll go on that later because we have seen yesterday. Now let's go to something uh, called as union. Now what is union? Yes. Okay. Set started today. So today was holiday. Holiday? Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, Gandhi Jayanti. Yeah, yeah, today is second. All right, correct, correct. Okay. So, uh, this is union. Union means like uh, when you combine two things, right? Like uh, when you say everything, everything like uh, elements of both the sets, particularly you can say this, right? every element of both the sets not uh, like uh, commons and all okay every element talking about that so but obviously like when it is going to come in a set then obviously you are not going to get duplicate elements something like that right so union if i say a dot union of b what you get one two three four five six and seven why we have we it have, does not mm -hmm, sorry not having audio problem okay fine so i think you want to say that it not take duplicate elements right yes sir okay yeah correct so one two three four five it's still there and then here it is six and seven that's it that is a work of union. So you can even get like for the definitions you want, you can just take L. And one second. So you can say set dot. So returns a union of all the sets, that is element that are in all the sets, right? That is either set. Okay. Next. Next, this is something called as intersection. Okay, go through the data is one that all elements that are in both the sets. So if I talk about the A and B, what are those elements which are in both sets? Three, four, and five. So I can easily write print a dot 
intersection of B. Run this. Three, four, five. Right. Another thing you can do is print A and B. You can take B and A. So this is intersection that returns you the uh, common elements from both the sets as a new set, forming a new set over there. Okay, clear. Uh, fine. Next comes the difference. So this returns you all the elements that are in one set but not in the other set. And that depends like how you write. So if you say that print the difference in A set with respect to the B set. That is what are the different elements in the A set with respect to that B set. If I run this, I will get 1 and 2. Then what are the things in the B set with reference to A set? It's going 3, sorry, 6 and 7, right? So this can also be found using A minus B and B minus A. So we have got two sets, 1, 2 and 6, 7 respectively. Okay, that's the pretty easy difference. Now you would be wondering, so can we write A plus B then? So that is not a function. Okay. Next. For the union guys, for the union when we go for this, you can have unions like this also. See? Same answers. Okay. So this can, this can also be treated like a union. Right, okay, moving next. So, a lot more functions are there, right? After this, we have something called as symmetric difference, okay? What that tells you, let's see. So it returns all the elements that are exactly one of the sets. Understood? Not with the example, obviously. Not with the uh, definitions, obviously. You will not be getting up the things. So let's say a dot symmetric difference of b. What should be the answer? What do you think? one two six and seven so from both of the sets after removing right after removing the common elements so what symmetric difference returns you the uncommon elements from both the sets okay i think that would be easy as a definition the uncommon elements from both the sets both the sides you can see like both the sets Compa like when you are comparing with 2 set, 3 set, 4 set, whatever it is. Okay? So it returns you the uncommon elements in all the sets. So that is 1, 2, 6 and 7. Right? 
next we have something called as symmetric difference update intersection update difference update right you know how update works you know right so let's see how symmetric difference update works so we have seen what is symmetric difference doing that is giving you the uncommon elements okay now if you say update so update a set with the symmetric difference or itself right so what it will do is for now if you see your a and b it will be as it was right no changes is there in the set is there any changes 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 6 7 that has remained same as it was okay but for now if i say that print a dot symmetric difference update with b this means that for now we are taking the symmetric difference and then updating it with b where in a and also i'll let you see what is the value of a and b is it 1 2 3 4 6 7 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 6 7 see 1 2 6 7 will be there why why it should be 1 2 3 4 see the symmetric difference what it was 1 2 6 7 so that will be the answer 1 2 6 7 and after that what will happen like if you see like a i'm not printing that okay that will be 1 2 3 4 5 right so what was it that where is the answer where it is once again print has been done let's print one by one okay okay okay, okay, okay fine a has been taken right so a b and for now it is fine yeah so for now what you can see in a is one two seven six and b is three four five six seven so what is being done whatever the value has came for the symmetric difference that is being updated in the a you know that is being updated in the a updated means like now whenever i print a i will not get 1 2 3 4 5 i will only get 1 2 7 6 that is the value which was generated from getting the symmetric difference between the a and b has been updated where in a if you write b dot symmetric difference of a it will be updated in b okay like that okay now we have one two seven six now let's say i again write with the a that a is equals to say okay now again now going with the second one that is difference update okay you'll understand better So it remove all the elements of the another set from this set. Huh. What is that? Like uh, when you write a minus b, that is a difference, right? But when you write a dot difference of b, that is also a difference. With that function, that a dot difference underscore or difference of b, with difference if I give an underscore of update, right? This means that whatever the difference I'll be getting from the both the sets, right that will be updating in the first one like if i say a dot for now what is a and b 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 6 7 now if i say a dot difference update with what b that means you do one difference you perform one difference right that is a minus b and then whatever the value comes update it in the a that should be kept as the final value of this so if I look on to A and B now, I'll see that A is having only one two. Why? Because 
if we go with this all, what is the difference between A and B? It is only one two. It is that only is one two being updated. Okay, clear? Yes, sir. Cool. Next, we have uh, intersection. Uh, intersection. This also works as the same. Let's say a is equals to so same thing. Like only intersection will be getting updated over there. And you can see, like, obviously, A will be 3, 4, 5. Whatever the intersection is there, that will be the values of A. So, these are the things, right? Now, let's say my A. Now, if I look on to my A and B. So A is from 1 to 10 and B is from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So can I say that B is a subset of A? Because all the elements of B is there in A. Yes, sir. So we can just write that B is a subset of A. That's true. And if I say A is super set of B. That's also true. What does super set gives you? The report whether this set contains another set or not. That means if I say that A is superset of B, that means that the elements of the B should be there in the A. Unlike the elements of A should be there in the B also. Then we can say, it is not a compulsion that every element would be there, but we can say elements belongs to B too. Then you can say that, yeah, it's a superset. Okay. Same it works. Same it works. Joint is joint and all. Okay. Fine. So these are the things which Fine. can be done with the sets, right? Having any questions? Sir, so the sets in B hmm. is a superset of A, right? Set in B. Set. Yeah. Superset, you ask me. Yes, sir. It will be a subset, not superset. Yeah. yeah. It it's like a, all the elements of B is subset of A. Yeah, you can say B is a subset of A. Then it is uh, like uh, indirectly all the you know. Now, see what happens. Subset, superset is something like it returns you true only if a set has every element of another set. Okay? Superset. Yes, superset. That, that is called a superset. No, I am just asking you if one is satisfied, the second one is uh, inversely will be satisfied, right? Yeah, if one is, if subset, is a subset, then, one then obviously subset, it will be superset. Yeah, second would be superset. So that is how set goes. Okay, I think that is clear. Now let's come to yes, set strings. Now let's come. So list is clear, tuple is clear, set is clear. Let's come to the strings, formats, and all. 
I think we have done strings but not lot. Let's see. So we have these functions starting from capital I's. A lot of functions are there. Right? Capital I's, case fold, center from here. These are the functions. All these functions. So strings might be done in your college, right? No. Strings might be done. Strings might be done. No, no, it's not done. Okay. Sorry. So let's start with the first one. What is capitalize? You know the basics, right? How to use that? Capitalize. Capitalize is something like which returns yes, you is a capitalized like version of the string. That means mm -hmm. like the first letter right the first letter of the first word not the complete sentence the first letter of the first word will be capitalized if it is capital then it's okay but if it is not capital then it will be capitalized like uh, it will be in uppercase let's say this is a sentence and this is x so if I say print x dot capitalize, so I got that result, which is same. But if I say this x, I can now see that this was the original sentence, and then I am getting the capitalized sentence. Okay. Right? So, something like this. Fine. Next. Next we have case fold. Center. Now, see, case fold and lower is almost, you can say, like with the outputs, you can say is same. But the definitions are different. When we try to understand case fold, it returns you a version of a string suitable for caseless comparisons right caseless comparisons like so where you actually don't need to focus on cases there you use case fold so if we talk for x dot case fold so see whatever the cases it is there you will be getting in the lower even if it is a capital even if I say the x dot capital I, it should be with like for the first one should be the capital. But in the very next step, I'm saying it's to be case fold and what is that? Spelling error. Right, see. Okay. Like if you're having a word and you say case fold. So it give you caseless compile. So caseless comparisons obviously comes in lower cases. It is converting everything in the lower case and then working with that. That is called as caseless, case fold. Okay. So, like if you want to convert anything in uh, upper case, right? Like for comparisons, you can like just easily use case fold over there. Okay, in place of lowers and all. Same works like for the lower. So it returns you the copy of a string converted to a lower case. Okay? String being converted to a copy. 
lower case will be giving you a copy of that. So like if we write word dot lower, we'll be getting word. That's it. Okay. Like that. Next functions. Read for once. Center, count, ends with, expand tabs, find format. Okay. So not every functions will be doing, right? Some of the functions you'll be working up. Okay. We have count. We have center we have find we have format let's go with that so center padding that is a keyword padding a keyword uh, so don't take his as like a keyword of python right i'm saying that's a keyword right like a word that's fine so padding is done here basically like, like spaces in centimeters uh, not uh, sorry uh, spaces in like with the space bars you can see it right default is a space you know like one space two space three space four space you know? five spaces one tab okay like that so if i say word dot center and 20 spaces from the left and 20 spaces from the right so i get 20 spaces 20 spaces see if i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 with the space if i say space i think i will not be able to go through that like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Got it? Ten spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then again going there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Completed. Ten, ten, twenty. Right? Sir, is that uh, twenty spaces along right. with the word? Mm hmm. Like if you say hundred. We'll get in the middle so you can go with here like no my doubt is eight space left side and eight space eight space right side and the middle four letter word is it totally 20 space altogether complete complete word will be having like uh, okay okay got it got it what are you asking no equally divided values like if you are giving 20 then 10 10 here Like if it is 100, then 50, 50. Like 10 left side and 10 right side. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Okay. So, basically you get a center. Whatever you write, like if you are writing 100, then obviously you will you will be getting uh, the center of the 100. That means 50 from the left, 50 from the right, and then the center, whatever it comes, you will get there. Okay, fine. Clear? Yeah. Next comes. Fine. Now, uh, yeah, that's a very important thing. That's last slide. Return minus one on failure. In the string case, this happens. And I think you might get question on the examinations also. Because this is important from exam point of view. Now, what is that? If I say find, what it does? Lowest index, basically. Right? Find, that is index number. You get index. So, lowest index in the string okay so let's say if i have a string x i 
and I say that print x dot find where is r it says in the first position obviously it's correct in the first position it is right that means second position here one means second right so it's in the second that's it but what it is saying return minus one and failure that means that if you are searching for such a substring which is not there in the string then obviously you are going to get minus one like in the word artificial i can see a r t i f i c i a l so apart from this if i go and search anything like x dot find something uh, s s is not there so i'll get minus one right with the same so, thing uh, I, like search for i search for i one second i Zero, one, two, three. Yeah, but there are three eyes, right? Hmm. Why it will take only the first one? See, the lowest index in S, and the starting. Okay. I always starting. say that when when you go okay. with this all, so the lowest one and the first one, whatever it is, you will be only getting the index of that. Always, whether it is a string, whether it is a list, whether it is a tuple, set, anywhere. So for that we need data science. When we have lot of things and we want to explore it there, for that we need count up. So count can give you three, find can give you three, but index you will be not getting. Will not be getting index of all. So find is not giving you a count of that. Find is giving you the index number and index is i is three. If I can see, i is yeah three also. Also i is three. So you can use. X dot count i. That is three. But if you say index of i, three, same. Okay. Now the difference between the find and the index. Let's see the definition. That returns you minus one in the error or failure when you go for a, such a non substring which is not there. But in case of index, what happens? It gives or it raises a value error when the substring is not found. Like if I say print x dot index of s. See value error. Substring not found, but in case of find, it is minus one. That is also an error. Okay. So yes, sir. You never get an output from the right hand side. Like whenever you get something like minus one and all, so you always understand that this is the usage of find only in the string. It works, right? Okay. Next. Format. Oh, format is gonna have. Let's say if we have a sentence. So this is a word. That this is a sentence. Right. That means. Curly braces and one such gap is there when well, I have to write something. Okay, so that is the space where I'll be using the format function. So I'm saying that that curly braces is a subset of AI. Now what what should be the value over there? It should be G learning or deep learning, whatever you say, OpenCV, whatever you say, right? So I can write print x dot format. So in X, what do you have to format? Machine learning. If if there is one braces, so you can just write ML. If there is two, we can again write it there, like giving a comma. So getting ML is a subset of AI. 
as well thing right now if this is a string right and i now want that i want to replace that uh, i the 0 1 2 3 i think it's 1 2 3 yeah the third index number i so i want to replace it by capital i so how can i write it just like print y dot replace of i by i you see s t r i n g okay that can be done easy it's easy next we have function of what is that easy one Easy one, yeah. Strip, title, swap case, split. A lot of things are there. Let's say we did it center, we worked on center. What is that, right? So, if in a string your string is having some white spaces, even if it is not equal. If your string is having a white spaces and you want to remove that, you can use white strip. So white spaces will be removed. Okay. And let's say you have some email or something kind of a web. So what website it is or like if it is like this right so print what type of uh, transfer protocol it is having HTTPS whether the site is secured or not like that right so we can do is that is whatever the string is dot split so split with what split with with this one okay split with this run this so getting https that means website is secure that's it easy right otherwise you can write so whatever you get you got to write the zero of that and yeah one second it is being split right should be here so it's HTTPS that means it is secure right that is a split working so it splits on a particular uh, parameter or you can say whatever you define inside that string works work accordingly so split is done strip is done right same like if web is being defined so if I say uh, web dot swap case now swap case means case fold or something different. Swap case means like swapping up the cases that is upper to lower, lower to upper and like that. Run this https dot dot and now this is coming like a website and you can see here in the below one in this area I will be getting a website link. Yeah, that's it https dot web dot in. Here it was a string but here it is not a string right. Even if I say print this web we'll get a small link there and that's it that's it easy right okay so that is like how we go with the sets right so yeah uh, string string anything left major upper is easy title is easy title what it does it converts the whole word first letter as a capital 
rest you go with the definitions and work how it works right so uh, let's see you had doubt yesterday let's have a look on that doubts 